This is my Sajan Electron EAT 1010, with his, which is Packard Bell branded, as you can see there. Uses the Futaba MA switches and has thick double shot keycaps, as you can see here. They're around two millimeters thick from what I've measured. And the keyboard itself weighs around three pounds and four ounces. The date I found inside of it was 29th day of the fourth month of 1989. So this one's pretty old. On the back of it, there's a little plug that covers up an ATXD switch, but it claims that it's AT only, yet when you switch it, the protocol changes. So I don't know what's up with that. Another cool thing is that the flip out feet show the angle on them. The spacebar switch is a gray version that's heavier than the other ones. And it uses a 5 pin DIN plug, as you would expect. It also has a wind keyless layout. Overall, this is a pretty cool looking keyboard. I'm going to be taking it apart to build a modern keyboard using the Futaba MA switches but keeping the case so I can put something like Cherry MX inside of it. Since I like the case so much, it's just a, it's a nice looking design and it has like a little pencil rest on the top here. So I think it's kind of cool. Stick a pencil on top of it. Or two. Or three. Check that out. It's pretty cool. I'm going to have an imager link in the description that you can take a look at the pictures before I take this thing apart. Thanks for watching.